Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Jen, and this is Through Thick and Thin. Today, I just wanted to take you through my grocery haul. This is a Costco and Meyer grocery haul. I thought it was going to be super budgeted, but actually, this somehow ended up being about $200. Goodness. Um, so, let's go ahead and walk you through what I came home with. Let's start over here. This is a giant chicken pot pie that is from Costco. Honestly, I don't know if you guys feel this way, but whenever I go grocery shopping, I just do not want to cook dinner uh, when I get home. So I figured this was a perfect way to have dinner and not have to worry about, you know, ordering out or having to cook something. And that will give me leftovers for lunch tomorrow. So it's just perfect. Uh, so that is dinner tonight, and we have the oven preheating for that right now. And then I have some butternut squash and some cauliflower. I have been making, um, like Indian chicken uh, for dinners in the slow cooker. Like, I literally take, and I have some that I'll show you later like a tikka masala sauce or a butter chicken sauce and throw it in the slow cooker with some chicken and then just let it cook. And then I like to add these to it. The butternut squash kind of breaks down and just makes it thicker and creamy and delicious. And then the cauliflower is just, you know, good for bulking it up. For lunches this week, I I'm honestly feeling lazy, you guys, and so I got these three little steamable vegetable things. I take a lunch with me three days a week to a job, so I'm literally taking one of these each day, plus um, like some chicken that I'll show you in a little bit. Super simple, uh, but you know, it's, sometimes we just, we need it to be easy and healthy, and that is what this is. In my house, we have been in love with these pink lady apples from Costco. They're a little bit on the pricey side, but these are so delicious and I just cannot recommend them enough. So if you like pink lady apples, they're a little bit sweet, not too sweet, a little bit of a bite, highly recommend. Moving on over, we'll do the produce section next. Um, I grabbed these, honestly, because A, they were on sale, and B, because I don't have to wash them, and that is the honest truth. Uh, when I'm packing a lunch in the morning, again, I want something super quick, super easy, and these already, like, have their own little to-go container, you know? And then I got this cucumber so that I can slice it up and kind of put, like, a little veggie snack pack situation going. Uh, I'm going to throw these carrots in that little snack pack and then uh, some veggie dip to go with it. And those are just pre-portioned. Super easy. Again, we're going with convenience here. I feel like my diet, like I don't, I'm not on a diet, but I feel like I've just been feeling less motivated to prepare things. So my diet has been getting a little bit more processed lately and I'm trying to avoid that. So we're trying to take baby steps to make it a little bit less processed. In this bag, we have two yellow squash, and I've been chopping those up and roasting them along with these two zucchini and an eggplant with some onions, uh, and I roast those and throw them in with pasta. It bulks with the pasta. It tastes super delicious um, and, you know, adds veggies. And then, of course, we just have some bananas, some blackberries and raspberries. And then some Vidalia onions and some red onions. Whoop, we'll come back over here. These are my breakfasts for the week, along with probably like a banana or some other, like an apple. Um, again, super, super easy. Uh, I, I have from a couple weeks ago, like some frozen breakfast sandwiches, but some days I just don't want that. And these looked delicious. So, uh, you know, cheesecake, breakfast, it sounds good. I don't know. I'm going to try them. These are just some household things we needed. 
uh, I know, totally unnecessary purchase, but we love these little unstoppable things. They make the laundry just smell amazing. And then I needed some conditioner. I have some almond milk, so that way we can make some oatmeal or put it with some cereal. And then this is half and half that I'm going to be making like a Tuscan, sort of like a marry me chicken situation, but I'm using up some cheese that I have in the fridge. This is just uh, some organic plain Greek yogurt. This is that chicken that I'm going to have for lunches this week. Uh, I think today for you is Sunday. So today I hopefully, God willing, have um, sliced this up and have packed it already ready to go into portions for the week. We are kind of a chicken family, so we get this giant thing of chicken. I think it's like 20 pounds. I don't know. It may not be, but it's uh, it's a lot. Maybe it's 10 pounds, but it's a lot of chicken. We go through this, I don't know, once every couple weeks, and this is just something super easy. I don't have to worry about remembering when my chicken's going to go bad if it's fresh, and this tastes just as good. So... Over here, these, we are kind of in love with these nut bars. I think they're kind of supposed to be like kind bars or maybe Nutri-Grain, but we really like them. It's got the sea salt and the dark chocolate and nuts, and they're a really good grab-and-go snack. Uh, if you know me in real life, you know I'm obsessed with uh, Q-tips, and we were running out, so that was going to be... <gasps> A calamity, but we solved it. I got more, don't worry. This is that buttered chicken sauce I was talking about. Seriously, such an easy meal to throw together when I don't feel like cooking or I'm going to be out of the house. And then, of course, we just have some cheese pizzas. We've been ordering out pizzas or, you know, going to go pick up pizzas. And this is just way cheaper. I think this four-pack of pizzas was like $8.99. So, seriously, can't beat it. That is everything that I bought this week for groceries. I do have some things at home that I am doing, uh, like I'm using from last week that I, we didn't end up making. But um, yeah, this is a pretty typical week. And I think I'm going to start uploading a grocery haul every single Sunday to show you guys what we have going on in my house, what I'm buying. And I maybe might sprinkle in a couple shop with me videos. We'll see. But I think Sundays and Tuesdays are going to be my new upload days. So go ahead, hit that notification bell if you want to get notified when I'm uploading. That way you never miss a single thing. And remember, you can make today a great day or not. The choice is yours. Have a good one. Bye, guys.